myself Yamina Poyi. Welcome to Yamina's Physics. Today we are going to discuss the topic 1.9 in the lesson electrostatics and the topic is electric field lines and we know already know that there is electric field around a charge but that charge or that electric field you can draw it by means of simple lines or curves so electric field lines are simply the pictorial representation of electric field now let us see what's the definition how it defines a curve 3d probably it is 3d because you are having electric field in a space itself so we are using a 3d curve drawn in a such a manner that tangent to it at each point so we know there is electric field all around the space so at a particular point if you have a tangent to that curve at each point that gives the direction of the electric field at that point so we will go to that in detail now this picture this picture shows that you have a positive charge positive charge in the sense a value q greater than 0 shows positive value so a positive value and suppose this is a point charge as well if you have a point charge we know that the electric field are there all around the point charge and if you have a close look at the figure you can see that there are arrows and the arrows are as we go away from the charge the size of the arrows or the length of the arrows becomes shorter and shorter and shorter also we have seen there are arrows over each lines and the arrows are pointing away from the positive charge so these two things what you see over the picture can be concluded as two different things concerning an electric field electric field is definitely a vector quantity which has both magnitude and direction so in this figure shows exactly both of it one i told you the arrows all the arrows are away it is pointing out to show that that is the direction second thing i told you how long each arrow is you can see the size is going on diminishing of each arrow that gives the magnitude as we go from the center towards the other area all other area or if you are expanding it we can understand what is happening is E is inversely proportional to 1 by r square we know that electric field is given by k q by r square so it is directly proportional to 1 by r square so as r goes on increasing electric field comes down that magnitude diminishing of the magnitude is shown by the shorter arrows as they are advancing so that is a two main inference what you get from this figure direction of the arrow radially out shows the direction of electric field second thing size of the arrow goes shorter shows magnitude of the electric field okay and one more thing if you place a unit test positive charge test positive charge somewhere in the electric field you can see that the you are bringing the positive charge so this is already a positive charge like charge repel each other so this particular test charge is moved away from the positive charge so this again shows that electric field is away radially out so that's yet another definition for electric field line means electric field line means what a particular direction in which if you place a unit test charge in an electric field that electric uh, that particular test charge has a tendency move in to move in a particular direction that particular direction is known as electric field line so that's at another definition of electric field now one more thing you look at the two similar areas 
you can see this area is very close to the chart and this is somewhat distant so when you go through the both figures you can see here you can see three lines coming out here you can see only one line means as it as we are moving from that away it goes wider or the lines are going scattered means the lines through a particular area comes down this relative closeness or farness shows that here the magnitude is low here the magnitude is high okay so all the three inferences you can get from the figure single figure so in this uh, particular topic we are just drawing need not write some equations need not have some more theory just pictures explains everything now come to uh, another examples one you have a minus q charge a charge which is less than zero for a charge less than zero what happens if you have a test charge over here that test charge is just attracted by the negative charge because we know unlike charges attract so this test charge if it is free to move so it will come to the minus q charge or the direction is towards radially in this is away this is towards a minus q charge so this is for a value q less than zero now come if you have a positive charge and a negative charge if they are equal with the separation you call it by the term electric dipole so if you have an electric dipole what about the lines of force or electric field lines all of them starts from the positive all of them ends at the negative and one more thing you can see it starts from here it reaches here no more return back or it never forms a loop that will come again so this is what happened for a electric dipole now you look at this if you have both positive charges if it is both positive charge what will happen if there is no such a charge here this is exactly what is going to happen but when a positive charge is close to here what will happen very simple thing here if it is there is no such kind of charge it will be going radially like this and suppose if this is there this person is not there it will be radially going like this so there is a chance for intersection here but very very important thing electric field is a vector quantity and the definition itself itself says tangent at a point gives the direction of the electric field so if it is intersecting somewhere here it means two tangents at the same point it's impossible so again another property which shows you cannot intersect any two lines so that's why this is going one is uh, in keeping other one other away from it so that they don't intersect each other so these are few examples showing charge distribution sorry electric distribution uh, charges or electric lines for a number of charges now coming to the properties these are the main properties just summarized five uh, just given the summary of five you can have enough and more but the main five points are number one it starts from the positive end at the negative that's this thing number one this is one that is uh, this thing you can draw like this so a line starts from the positive end at the negative so it starts from the positive end at the negative okay second thing they never intersect this is why i told you it's not possible for you to intersect if it is intersecting what's the meaning at the same point you have going to have two different directions at the same point which is impossible because this is a vector quantity vector refers to a magnitude and a direction only one direction so you can have only one direction and it doesn't form any loop that is three this one it starts from the positive ends at the negative it doesn't come back from negative to positive so it never makes a loop loop means you have to start and go back to the same point which is not possible the other one parallel straight equidistant lines represent uniform electric field so these lines are parallel equidistant and straight so this kind of a field shows it is uniform electric field so that is point 4 and finally fifth one relative closeness 
or density of line shows the magnitude of electric field that's what i told you earlier if you have some area closer and farther just check the number of lines through it here you have more lines here you have lesser lines showing that here the magnitude of the electric field is much more here it is much less so this is summary regarding electric field lines hope it's clear if you have some doubts please post paste in the you can post it in the comment box thank you for listening thank you